Yo what is up guys, it is your boy the Fake American here and today in this video I'm finally going to be finishing a series that I started either months or years ago at this point, uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um, I did the first and second episode on my channel um, and then stopped and didn't do anything else. So in today's video we're going to be looking over episode 3. Um, there isn't going to be any audio in this is in like me talking um so obviously you'll have me now and right at the end of the video um obviously if you like this video you know by now i don't even need to tell you um and yeah hope you enjoy the video see you later <laughs> Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is way late. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's, it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school, there was one person 
everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father is the greatest moment of my life. But I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Someone who could never be satisfied by anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. Sarah. 
So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down. can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Wonder what James is thinking right now. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone, but addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right?
The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew? Then again, so is Frank. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? This seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. I can't believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway, door to the left of the fridge. Cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this? Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. Here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. I'm glad, too. You've had to cope with much worse, I know. I'm grateful Rachel has someone as strong as you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But. Hearing the truth, after all these years, hurt Rachel more than anything. 
I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I... But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. It's so weird to look at this now. I guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't, the ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Cool light. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? May you always be safe. <laughs> sure. But from who?
Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. I bet Rachel could have any study partner she wanted. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. At least she'll have something from tonight. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes but it still seems hard to believe. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Back on the train, I said... This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light.
All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why, never even thought about it. Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than right here. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have 
no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her... How will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. We're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touché. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's the 
spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? I have a question to ask you first. I mean, a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. That went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into?
Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Sorry, Board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Have I ever watered that? Uh, better than nothing. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Wonder what I can find out about Rachel's mom. Figures. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Their lair of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> yeah, go skip. jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. <sighs> it's way too early to be up on a Sunday. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. The minute coverage of stuff that's interesting on 87.9. Is mom playing music? Huh. Here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way, we're fixing that truck from the junkyard. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, maybe mom threw my towel in here. No awesome pirate towel. A logical place for a towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. What's in there? <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but 
We never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. One day, I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home and not fuck this shithole forever. Cause nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. No way. Mom actually sold her ring? For three I wonder who 
gave this to mom. So if I put this photo out, mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. What do I want the record to show? The sudden and mysterious absence of Chloe Price. I wonder if that's the universe where Dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to... ...for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> You are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey, <laughs> Chloe. So glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you...
I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just... with Rachel. Oh! How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe. I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... meaning to show you something. Maybe... maybe now's a good time. This... is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... Killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick.
Come on. Work with me here. Better, but still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. This connection is pretty shaky. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Pretty loose. How can I tighten it? This thing is going to the fuck up. Maybe. <gasps> Sick. Much better. It's 
Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit, your hair. It's so... <laughs> badass. <laughs> exactly. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. You're practically a certified mechanic now. <laughs> Even have the shirt to prove it. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, Suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See? You two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer 
and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? Why do you care so much? Because... Fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! Fucking bitch!
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. I, I even saw your file saying Sarah was connected to Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he... He wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. And we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off, and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him, and then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be... Sometime before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for... Come on. Not that I have any coins anyway. 
<laughs> oh man, jackpot. I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Damn, are these all firefighters? Mom brought so many of these home when dad died, and not a single one described how I felt. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh, that's weird. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. You think? Ugh. If you're this useless now, what are you gonna do at 3 a.m. when the oh, baby needs- There's a sign for the prenatal class. Great. I guess that's your contribution for today. Ugh. Those people suck. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay.
If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. Is this Drew's room? All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work. And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out then. Oh no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Drew's got so many hopes for himself riding on their knee. It seems like he's been even more driven lately. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Both of them. Actually, in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Actually, it's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> just, uh, trying it out. Sometimes you've just got to do something new. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No, not at all. If anything, I should have thought about what happened to you before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, 
I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Ooh, I want to eat that. Right now. Those must be from Steph's parents. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. That'll be an interesting read. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. Yeah. No problem. Easier than you coming to me. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Oh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Yep. Definitely too many concussions. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Those guys Find look out. exhausted. You mean it's controlled? No, it's complete. Unless you get stabbed. It extinguished itself. Every... Wow. Rachel's mom does not look okay. Chloe. I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet. Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. 
Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. No visitors. Huh? Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by you. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist. Because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric... My son needs nothing from you. He put down a couple of bullies who were harassing him at school. That is all. I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute. Thanks. For the message. Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You... Saved. My. Life. Not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But it felt so good him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do.
whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. Uh, how have you been? Like, uh, since last night? Holy shit. The Tempest was just yesterday? Yes? Uh, so much has been happening lately. I, I actually brought Rachel here just a while ago, but it feels like forever. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I... I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh, right, of course. Are you? Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. I'll make sure to keep you posted. Right now, I'm here to take care of Rachel. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, right? So what? So, obviously, something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe.
Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah. If it can rain ash, I guess. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Sweet. A secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> James sure keeps lots of files on people. When digging for secrets, even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. More sherry. <sighs> locked drawer inside locked office. Seems promising. <sighs> Welcome to Shadyville. James's stamp collection. Is 
Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with 
Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? <sighs> Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? I say. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is, unless I send him a picture. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty... This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just... Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. Could this be the evidence? Damon and Knives seem like a solid bet. Did Damon really shoot someone? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay.
I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I... Find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. I should search around the office to see Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay, there's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. I guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. Feels a little weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. Been learning a hell of a lot about Frank lately. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? I totally... 
only knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Payment? Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Yeah. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? 
What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? I can't really talk about it. Rachel... Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah! Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I, I... I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But... I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad the for- The next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end, as usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now. For once! Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but- I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. L look. To go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right.
All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital... ...about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're the one who's keeping me here. At the Arcadia Bay D.A. James Amber's house. You're acting strange. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you... Ugh, you bitch! Can't you see? I just want to help you! You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. Because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying. to me. I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean... Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you... Really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I 
guess it's better this way. Not knowing. Then I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Frank? Frank! This is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? No more beer, no more time. I've got to keep moving. I'm not afraid. That's better. Everything's going to be just fine. 
just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you. How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go. Talkings. Over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! No. Go to your fucking happy place. Brian. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? <laughs> you don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that- Rachel can never- no. Tell me why. 
Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James who... is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I, I, I don't know anything about addiction, but I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve... It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that?
The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her what she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Here, Rachel gave this to me. She said she's had it her whole life. Since she was a baby. I... I gave it to her. She'd want you to have it. Thank you, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. A little later. Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your... We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something.
Yo guys, so yeah, sorry that I don't sound emotional in any way, shape or form. It's been like two days since I um, recorded the rest of this video. Um, I decided to record it just before I had to go to work. Um, but yeah, it. I was in tears, like holy shit. Um, the next episode should be out fairly soon, um, but yeah, like, holy shit, with the massive fucking lorry just going straight through, holy dad, and the, like, ending with Chloe and Sarah was fucking insane. Anyway guys, uh, I've got to go, so see you guys in the next video. Bye.